welcome back to my channel. I'm Kendra. This is the weekly watch list and today we are reacting to Bridgerton season 3 episodes 3 and 4. Let's get into it. Hi, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our reaction to Bridgerton season three. We're going to do episodes three and four. Um, so this is going to end part one of season three and this is all in anticipation of part two of season three. Now I know for a fact, in fact, is one of the reasons that I even got into all of this, that this part of the uh, part one <laughs> of the season is going to get pretty steamy between Colin and Penelope. I, like I said, I really enjoy what Nicola and Luke are doing. I really enjoy Nicola and Luke. I just think that they are so wonderful. Um, you know, I wasn't going to get into this because it's like negative, but there's been a lot of like really, quite frankly, gross things said about Nicola that I just, I have to say something about because I just think that it is really freaking, freaking stupid. stupid. <laughs> um, that in this day and age we have like what's supposed to be a le legitimate publication um, and other people you know dogging on this girl simply for existing and having the aud audacity to be loved I don't think that there is anything at all unhot or wrong with Nicola or her body I think that she is a wonderful actress and I think that she is a beautiful woman um, and I think she's a sexy woman. And I think that Colin thinks that Penelope is a sexy woman. Otherwise, he wouldn't have fallen in love with her. And I just think that it's, again, really freaking stupid. Like, if you don't like her body, you know what you can do? You, you can, can shut, shut the hell up. up and keep it to yourself. That's what you can do. Who needs that? Nobody needs that. Nobody wants to hear that. We don't want to hear that. Stay over there. Don't watch. You know what I mean? But please do shut up <laughs> because the rest of us see and appreciate this woman, both the actress and the character, for how amazing um, she is. I certainly do. Like I said, I definitely identify with the character of Penelope and I definitely think that uh, Nicola is a cool person. She's cool as shit. Irish people are usually pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're usually pretty they, they, they can get intense but they're, they're usually pretty cool so like yeah like just shut the hell up and let the rest of us enjoy this amazing beautiful love story i'm certainly enjoying myself the first two episodes are really good i know that there are some naysayers out there who you know they talk about the quality of the show versus um previous seasons which i will probably see for myself i guess because i'm gonna go backwards because you don't tell me what to do Anyway, <laughs> um, so we'll see about that. But right now I'm enjoying myself and I'm not, I'm watching on a projector, so I'm not being disturbed by any of the nitpicks, I guess, that people might have with like the cinematography or the sets or whatever. It's all hidden for me. I can hear everything and that goes a long way because, you know, Luke Newton, boy, you get a voice like butter. I don't know where you got that from but it's nice <laughs> it's it's nice um i love colin i love penelope i'm loving the bridgerton so far and i'm loving um this season of this show yeah let us react to episodes three and four of part one of bridgerton season three if you like what you see please like the video and uh subscribe if you want to see me react to more bridgerton because i'm definitely gonna as soon as part two comes out um episode 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 i'm gonna be reacting to it um in real time so i'm very excited uh, all right let's get to the episode This is after the kiss. She's taking a moment to collect it. What? Colin. Thank you for There's a lot of smoke here. I had to see you immediately. What is it? Pen, I hear. Somebody's dreaming, because this is... I've not been able to sleep. Not been able to eat. I can barely speak. My entire thoughts consumed by... So, this has got to be a dream. By our kiss. Ooh, does he look at her lips? I feel the same. You occupy my every thought. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, this is definitely a dream. 
<laughs> it was a 50-50, right? But I'm so glad that it was his. Morning, family. You slept late. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Slapping something did. Someone, did rather. To touch the pillow, but I was met with complete and immediate stop. Why are you always lying? You lying, that. bro. It was unfortunate that Wissard unwrote what she did, or that she found out about it in the first place. Excuse me. Huh. Well, guilt. Guilty. Penelope is quite fortunate to have you as a friend. Yes. As a as friend. A, well, a very good acquaintance of families, of course. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> I love that his, his go-to thing when he's nervous is to take find something to drink <laughs> put in his mouth. Like in the in the book, he's like always eating something. He's always hungry, so I feel like that's a little bit of a callback. Maybe. Good day. It's good to see you. Yes, it's good to see you as well. What is he gonna say? And I apologize for not coming to see you earlier. Oh, it is for the better that you did not. Is it? Isn't it? It is. <laughs> Fast now. Uh, what are you talking about? We cannot continue our lessons. Oh. What? Uh, I agree. <laughs> Good. No, uh, I don't agree to that. What is your reasoning? Because of what happened between us? No, but uh, I assure you nothing of the kind will ever happen again. Of course. And I apologize. They are so uh, dumb. They, you both want it to happen again. Why, why would you say that? <laughs> They're so silly. The lessons you said they cannot He's continue. nervous. They uh, in fact, it may be best if we keep our distance for now. Oh, of course. No, no. Serious, Why do British respect. people always have to be so polite all the time? I wish very much for your happiness. Thank you for all your kindness. If I secure a proposal, it will be because of you. No, no, no. You should have just proposed, dude. You know you love that girl. I cannot stay in my room forever, Mama. Some new scandal will distract them soon enough. Keep a low profile. They always find each other. I think I see a corner in which to hide myself. You should know, I spoke to Penelope. Did you? What'd mm -hmm. she say What'd about she say? me? Yeah. I apologize Crush, for crushing the story about you. I see. Um, thank you for that. Oh, Excuse me. <laughs> Miss Featherington. My lord. Are you in search of a new prospect to help you find a husband? Oh, Good what luck. assholes. Cruelty is not attractive. It's not. It's not. Maybe. It is not. It is not attractive. <laughs> Are you assessing your pupil? Ah, gossip assessing has made its way into your home as well. You cannot blame me, for Wolsterdam proves to be quite an education. Mm. But unlike the rest of the town, I do not find what you did shocking, but rather considerate. It is the mark of a good man to help a friend in need. And I'm sure because of your kind-heartedness, you will find Trust the hard-working people to to let you know some real shit, you know what I'm saying? Authentic enough to let him know Lady it was cool what he did. Good evening, Miss Featherington. Good evening. Welcome. Although typically only abject failures and social outcasts are allowed. You will not take pity on a hunted no. man. Mm, unfortunately, I require all pity for myself, but I can offer you social contagion in exchange. You do not read Lady Whistledown. Both outcasts. Has she written about you? She has. I say, well done for stepping away from the herd. In fact, I find your frankness immensely refreshing. That, that's why I'm not bothered about this at all. I think it's kind of cute. You know, somebody's finally validating her because look, look, Colin is jealous as hell. <laughs> Ooh, it's the scene that everybody's talking about. Oh, okay, wait, okay. Excuse me. Right. He wasn't even listening. So no one suspects we are speaking together. Colin Lord Devlin has shown an interest in me. Hmm. Your lessons worked. Hmm. You don't like that. Do you feel some attachment to him? He is not unpleasant to gaze upon. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that either. Look at him. Do I have sugar on my face? No. Um. He's licking his lips. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh. I was wondering how they were going to translate his inner thoughts from the book. 
about noticing these things about her, like her lips and stuff. Very well done. Very well done. Girl, why do you look like a circus tent? Miss Featherington. Oh no. Oh no. Over here. I do not wish to intrude. Nonsense. What you staring at? What you eating? Bridgerton. I should have known we'd find you here today. Mouthing You're a little hot around the call. So what inspired you to take up the occupation of marriage whisperer? <laughs> I'm done with all that. <sighs> what are you talking about you done? Well, I guess she did kind of reject you. I spend all the time I possibly can outdoors. In fact, I... It's windy. Quite... You, Miss Cowper. I do. No. World to the unnatural one. No, no. Grass. No, God, no, Penelope. Say I love laying in it while I'm reading. Quite green. You like to lay in it while you're reading up and run your fingers through it. Colin, help it out. That dead thing fellow is a little odd, is he not? He has singular passions, to be sure, with a kind of fortune he possesses. He can afford to be as singular as he wants. Why are y'all standing around where there's obviously storm clouds gathering? You gonna help out, Colin? Yeah, I mean, your muscles are obviously ready. There you go. <laughs> the danger. Ooh, help! Won't someone rescue us from the balloon? This is the part that I hear. She just really is just standing there. It's right there, girl. What you doing? Where are you going? There you go. Run! Oh, shit. In all fairness. When you take a tumble like that, like a surprise fall, it does take you a second to recover. Okay, uh, Lord Devlin. Full body save. Okay. I caught you by you. Is this, this what I caught you by? by you. And off he goes because he had no choice. Well done, British and girls. Okay. I have no idea what song this is. Don't judge me. Tell me what to do. I believe this is yours. And who is you? Thank you. Uh, don't let Lady Violet get some play. He does not care. How about y'all tittering and tattering? You trying to get them titas? What? This is good. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Forgive me, I was simply in need of some quiet. I've been in search of it all night. Ooh. Perhaps we can enjoy the silence together. That is a great idea. Yeah. 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 I believe you. You can't talk. As long as you we can't are honest even with finish talking. Our feelings, it is possible to do anything. You should take that advice, bro. Pardon me, ladies. Lord Evelyn. It's Featherington. I am afraid I have not been honest with you. I was pretending to be someone I am not, and I do not wish to do that anymore. The person that I am, I'm. Someone who enjoys society and gossip, even if I do occasionally hide at a soiree. I'm someone who enjoys a good book more than exploring the natural world. She's so How many cute. yous are there exactly? And where do you hide them? <laughs> I want to be with someone who knows who they are and embraces their own peculiarity. Oh, that's her lemonade now. Point Penelope. Can I ask you a question, mother? Anything there is. As you consider suitable matches for Francesca. What do you hope she finds? Passion, excitement, a love that is thrilling. But I thought you believed the best foundation for great love was friendship. Indeed, I do. It is how your father and I began. But it is rare to begin as friends and for both parties to then film more. And how did you and father know it was reciprocated? Because he gathered the courage to ask. Hello. And Lady British and always dropping, dropping knowledge, dropping plurals. Are you noticing, Mom? I hope if Francesca finds it, she is brave enough to ask the question. Are you going to be brave enough to ask the question? Oh. 
this author believes that all of man's greatest inventions are nothing more than a distraction from what is most natural to us. Are you going to go after her? Colin, finally free from your admirers. There is a question I have been needing to is ask. Going to Our to her instincts. Like right the innate animal impulse that is inside even the most... Oh my God. No. Because the carriage, that's because the carriage, carriage, okay. Nature will always win out. He sure want to kiss her, though. I believe it's time for our dance. Mm. Lord Devlin ain't stupid. He's kind of, he's sharp, he's shrewd. He's got you, he's got you pegged, old uh, Bridgerton boy. Ooh, this music is, like, really intense. I don't like this. And she has made her choice. It seems Lord Debling's instinct has led Oof, this. He should have said something, bro. He should have said something, man. Oof. Oof. For in the battle between man and nature, it is quite clear that the battle is, in fact, between man and himself. Hmm. You should have answered the dance. Don't you always ask her to dance? You haven't answered the dance this whole se damn season. Man! Ah! I don't want it to be over! What's going to happen? That is a very yellow and blue jacket. No! Don't go Lord in it! Oh! My other daughters just happened to drop by and they wish to say good day. Good day. Good day. So often, my Penelope is sat at that window reading, and now here she is in the room, and we have you to thank for that. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> is there a reason you like that window so much? I suppose I mostly just enjoy the view, but I have grown rather tired of it. She can see the Bridgerton house from that window. Probably. Uh, yeah, actually, cute is not the right word. He's handsome. I am found. We are expecting the Marquis Samadani to call on Francesca this morning. Can I count on your presence? Well, if I am there, I will surely eat all of the biscuits and leave none for the Marquis. Ah, a reference to his appetite. Dear, when you were asking about friendship and whether it can blossom... She's always heart, meddling. Is there something you wished to discuss with me? It was purely <clears throat> a speculative question. I simply Are you always lying, Colin? Lord Samadani may not choose to call upon me. There is a caller here. Yes, bring him in. Ah ha, 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 wow. Oh, yay, it's not the other weird guy. Miss Francesca, John Sterling. Oh, he's cute. Lord Kilmartin and I met briefly at the Hawkins Ball, but have not had the opportunity for a formal introduction. May I join you a moment? I should like that. A man who will let her be in peace and quiet. She must definitely be interested in him. Hey, girl. Sit silently with me. <laughs> I love that. This is like the library from the Beauty and the Beast. Do those people even read? I mean, I know Penelope reads. You growing distracted. You must think only of Lord Deblin today. <laughs> Men love to explain the world to us. If we've already explained it to ourselves through reading, then they will feel superfluous and unmanned. You know, she's not wrong, but it's still so stupid, you know. I do not know that anyone in this entire library has in fact read a book. Perhaps mine will be in the collection soon. The tragedy of a spinster. Sounds like German literature. <laughs> It's not fun. We are in pursuit of some revelry. I think I shall accompany you. I could use a little revelry myself. Why? So you won't have to dream about Penelope? Are there any novels in which the man goes traveling for a very long time <laughs> and his wife is happy to stay behind tending the estate? If the wife did have her own interests in life, then perhaps they could both be very happy. A practical match, but a happy one. I like the sound of that. How might this fictional gentleman ask for the young lady's hand? Especially if she had no male relative. If, if, if you were writing the book, that is. Well, I suppose oh, he's have to ask her mother. Do you think she would say yes? Hey, I think you would have to read the book. Oh, she's a slow one. 
She, look, look at that bad nose eyelashes, girl. Yes. I mean, you're you're calling. So you're meant for calling. Oh, okay. You are just trying to forget Penelope, and you, no one is gonna convince me otherwise. I don't even. You, you, your heart's not even in it, bro. Look at you. I mean, my heart's not in this. You quite well. You're no, he's I'm not. Afraid my he's lovesick. Elsewhere. So you would prefer to watch? Yeah, oh, she, she, she don't even care. <laughs> And he don't care about them. Are you thinking of Penelope? Yes, you are. Yes, I am. Good day, Lord Kilmartin. It's Francesca. Enjoyable music. Yes? If I'm being honest, no. The pace is too fickle. A song like this would be far sweeter if it were played in three fourths of one could, in fact, feel the music. That is helpful. That's cute. If you'll excuse me. Is he going to tell the guy to slow down? Where did he go? <laughs> all right, bro. Became acquainted for six months straight all over the peninsula. <laughs> oh, she sounds like the young woman who made my time in the French Quarter worth the length of the voyage. And I do not mean her mind. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, the girls of summer made your trip quite fulfilling. <laughs> well, he didn't feel any intimacy, so. Contessa, did I not? Uh, yes. But... Well, a gentleman must keep some things to himself. I do not see a gentleman amongst us. <laughs> no, I concur with you there. Oh, yeah, no, me. he's right. But it is. Tiring, is it not? The necessity imposed on us to remain cavalier about the one thing in life that holds genuine meaning. Do you not find it lonely? Oh, he's such a romantic. <laughs> That's why them damn prostitutes don't mean anything to him. He's a romantic. He wants to be in love. I want another dream. Bring on another dream. No? Okay. You have done very well. Do you know, I've heard that Lord Look Gaffney at him being nice, okay. homes in Mayfair, and he tells me he travels often, which means it will be up to you to manage his estate. Can you imagine the kind of influence that will give you? The kind of influence it will give all of us. Oh, well, okay, that's what. What more could you want? Love, mama. Oh, do not tell me you're holding out for love. This is the very reason why I discourage you from reading. Love is make-believe. <laughs> it's only in storybooks. Do you know what is? Romantic <sighs> security. <laughs> you know what? I mean, I look, look. I cannot blame my mother. <laughs> I kind, I kind of see where, where she's coming from a little bit. But that's, you know, you can't force that on somebody. If that's not what she wants, that's not what she wants. But I guess she's thinking about it now. Like, okay, well, you know what? The man that I'm in love with doesn't want me. He said he would never court Penelope Featherington, so... Oh, Colin, everyone is in the carriage. Are you not dressed? No, I should like to stay home tonight. But you, I heard... Oh, you you had it from her. ...late last night. I am... well. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, man. You know... You have always been one of my most sensitive children, always aware of what others need. You so rarely put yourself first. I am proud of your sensitivity. But living to please others? His friends is always making fun of him I about imagine his it can be sensitivity. Weary at times. Painful. I identify with Colin too because he's sensitive and people don't treat sensitive people well because they think that you're not supposed to be sensitive and that's horseshit. Yeah, listen to your mom. My head is. To your mama. Bottle weary. It is only a shame you might miss the fruits of your labors. I hear Penelope may be getting a proposal tonight. <laughs> yeah, of Penelope course she knows. Telling anyone who will listen. I do hope you feel better. She's she's such a mom. She's like, hey, 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 you snooze, you lose, baby. So are you going to snooze? Are you going to stay home and snooze? Or are you going to feel better and get your ass out here and get your woman? Don't dream it. Be it. I love this music. I love that wig. Perhaps this little love play will inspire my lovers tonight. Oh, scandalous. I can't wait to see how this turns out. I'm aging myself, but Romeo and Juliet from the 90s with Leo, with Oh, Leo DiCaprio. Claire Danes. That ball that they had at the beginning of the movie. Just giving those vibes just a little bit. Lady Bridgerton. Lord Anderson. Are you enjoying your evening? Oh. Very much. I have not spent much time in Mayfair since the early days of my marriage. <laughs> Enlighten me, how ever does one pass the time here in the city? 
I'm afraid most of us spend our time meddling in the lives of our young no. people. At least that is my and your sister's favorite pastime. She molds society to her will, and she is rather good at it. <laughs> you do not know that about her? We are becoming reacquainted. Yeah, what is going own, on with y'all? My own marriage was not a love match, and admittedly not very passionate in the beginning. We were happy until the day she died. I am so sorry for your loss. Maybe there is hope. about to give Lady Violet a chocolate man. Yeah, talk about this damn girl to the candle burned down. Wow. Look, come on. Where have you been? You must forgive me for rushing off abruptly last time we met. It is only that I wanted to get you this. Mama, I am keen to return home early, if that is all right. She about to just dip. Lord Kilmartin. What is happening? Ah! I believe Lord Samadani was fetching Miss Francesca lemonade. And now she is... Not drinking the lemonade. Now yeah, you done pissed off the Queen. Bridgerton, fashion will be late. Come out with us. Though this time we are going drinking at White's instead of that dreadful Mondrich bar. <laughs> Excuse me. May I ask you a question, my lord? Anything. Do you imagine that with time? She love. did tell you that her passion is love stories. My work has such a large portion of my heart, it may be difficult to make more space. You know what? Someone if she, if she marries life. him, he would probably grow to love her. He would probably grow to love her very much. You look much. especially beautiful tonight. Ms. And Featherington. she him. Do you mind if I interrupt? Oh, he's doing it. Oh, wee, 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 wee. Woo, woo, woo. Something to resolve. But Lord Devlin is not stupid. Colin, you are going to ruin things between me and Devlin. Well, perhaps that is for the best. What do you mean? Well, I hear he is leaving. For three years. I know that already. Three Colin. years? Jesus Take Christ. Take alone to get where he's going. They do seem upset, do they not? Are they not all friends? The oldest of friends, really. Ever since the Featheringtons moved in across the street. Across the street from the Bridgerton house? Directly. I'm going to accept his proposal. You don't want to hear that. I said I would help you find a husband, but I cannot stand by in which you make a mistake. The only mistake was me ever asking for your help in the first place. Lord Devlin! Shall we return to our conversation? Miss Featherington, why is it you sit at your drawing room window so often? I thought you might have had a falling out with Mr. Bridgerton. But now I suspect you may have been searching for him for a very different reason. I do not know of what you speak. I... I'm speaking of Mr. Bridgerton and the feelings between the two He's of you. He's so stupid. Colin Bridgerton would never, ever have feelings for me. It is laughable to think as much. We are friends. But would you like it to be more? Ooh, he's so stupid! That is not a possibility. I did not ask if it was a possibility. I asked if you would like it to be. Ooh, she can't even Miss lie. Barrington, with the amount of time I will be gone, it is essential I make a match with someone whose affections are not already engaged elsewhere. Whatever it is you are searching for, I do hope you find it. Good evening. Penelope. This is gonna be the carrot scene. Okay, I have seen gifts. I have not seen the entire scene in full. Shut up, say nothing. Lord Kilmartin, he had the music we heard earlier this week rearranged exactly as I imagined it. That's really sweet. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. I do not wish to speak with you. Please, Please you do, girl. He's breathing all hard. He ran. See, I'm about to watch this with sound and all connected. I'm so excited. Okay. We will stop at Bridgeton House first. Say something, man. Did Lord Devlin propose? What business is that of yours? I need to know. Did he propose? It is odd. When I asked for your help in finding a husband, I did not realize that also meant you might try to deny me one as well. It is my business, because I care about you. You cannot marry that man. He is just not right for you, Shh. Ben. He did not propose. In fact, he rejected me because of you. Because the scene you caused led him to believe you had feelings for me. An idea is so preposterous, I do not know what to do besides laugh. Now, will you please let us ride home in silence and leave me alone? I cannot. Please! I cannot. What if I did have feelings for you? What? I have spent so long trying yes, to feel less. Yes. 
the kind of man society expects me to be. And for a moment, I thought I had succeeded. But these past few weeks have been full of confounding feelings. Feelings like dreaming of you when I'm asleep, and in fact, preferring sleep because that is where I might find you. A feeling that is like torture. Mm -hmm. Giving them wet dreams. But one which I cannot, will not, do not want to give up. Do not say things you do not mean. Oh, baby, he hates it. Mm -hmm. yes. It is everything I have wanted to say to you for weeks. Finally! Call me a friend. No, we're not, girl. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure we are, yeah. But, uh. Forgive me. Um, no, 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 don't back off. I'd very much like to be more than friends. Yes, you would, girl. Yes, you would, girl. Yes, you would, girl. So oh. much more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Somebody said this was a Pitbull song? It's crazy. Look at that. Oh my god. That's the passion that was missing from those other scenes. Ooh. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. Oh my god. Yeah. He's, he's displaying more passion with some neck kisses here than like by leaps and bounds he, than he had with those prostitutes. Well, she's gonna be ruined for all other men. You're definitely claiming her, buddy. Oh God! Could the carriage driver not keep on driving? Ooh, I know, right? Child, man, you can laugh about it. It's not paying much attention to anything. Oh my God! Oh my God! Bruh, girl. The drivers are like, what is going on down there? You're coming with me. What? Y your family will see me. For God's sake, Penelope Featherington, are you going are to you going marry me? Are you going to marry me? Yay! Yeah! What happened in the book? Oh. oh, so good. Oh, so good. Ooh, wow. That was steamy. That was amazing. In terms of love scenes, that was a perfect 10. I don't think I've ever seen a sexier one. In terms of the two episodes I just watched, I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. They were really good, but I think there's a lot more coming. So let's talk about it. <sighs> OMG. Now, I heard that people were complaining a little bit about this feeling rushed um and feeling like there was no build up but to be honest it really didn't feel that way to me the way that I, i'm fresh off of listening to the audiobook so it feels like it's keeping up pace for me personally as with the audiobooks and i like that i got to get that glimpse into colin's inner thoughts especially and his history and why he feels the way he feels and why he does some of the things that he does so that i could observe this with that point of view in mind um and that could sort of like serve and you know i used to resist sort of like you don't need to read the source material and, and i agree i don't think you should have to read the source material material to enjoy anything but it definitely helps especially in this case not only because i got to enjoy the way that they deviated from the books but also because i got to enjoy the way these actors luke and um nicola brought pen and colin to life so that carriage scene like 
there was a lot more talking in the book version but in this version like i i i actually even though even a lot more happened in the in the carriage scene in the book um i felt that passion that those actors really brought that oh holy shit we are in love and we really want each other a passion to the screen in that tiny little space not to age myself yet again but like there's a carriage scene in titanic for example that is like the most famous carriage scene love scene in you know romantic movie history with you know the hand on like the thing well this beats that this beats that totally totally beats that I'm gonna give these two episodes, um, I'm gonna give them an 8 out of 10. There's still some stuff that I really, really cannot wait to see play out. And like I said, there is a lot of focus on other characters and I'm not knocking that as like a bad choice, but overall I'm really enjoying myself, y'all. I am really enjoying myself. I actually really like Lord Devlin. I think his attitudes and his outlook on things were pretty cool actually and I don't blame him for seeing the obvious and saving himself the trouble you know he's not trying to make a fool of himself he's trying to find a match um, for him and he knows what he wants um, and um, he knows what he wants and I he saw that in Penelope but hey baby if you got eyes for somebody else then I need to step to the side it's not, it's not gonna be Cressida <laughs> you know I'm glad that they gave her depth layers I don't know if she's had them this whole time because I you know this is my first full season of Virgin that I've ever watched um but I'm I'm glad that it's not just her being cool and flat you know what I'm saying so that's good and I actually really enjoy Eloise I really do. I can see a, how a character like hers could get on people's nerves, but I really enjoy her character. Even though I think she needs to just go ahead and forgive uh, Penelope. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed that. I cannot wait for part two. I'm going to be watching it um, in real time as it happens, so stick around for that. Make sure you subscribe, and if you like the video, help this get out to more people in the Bridgerton verse because this, again, is not my usual thing that I react to on my channel, so a like could go a long way. Thanks a lot, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.